to be fair as what you're after. You've come to the right place. There's nothing quite like the passion and the history of Inter against Milan. And we have Derby Fair on the menu today, and we never tire of bringing you this fixture, the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. Stuart, a lot to look forward to here. Well, Derek, this is Italian football at its very best. Great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful hit. Can he finish? Oh, good work by the keeper. And there's the delivery. A gift for any goalkeeper. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. Every team needs an effective and proficient leader of the line, and Olivier Giroud falls in that category. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. So, a corner here. It comes to absolutely nothing. Hernandez. Couldn't keep it. Skriniar. Barella has it. Martinez. Lukaku! And a fine stop. In the short corner, let's see. And that is how to block. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Still not clear. Brozovic. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stumped into silence. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, it doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Brahim. Tonali with it. Giroud, body in the way, and will it be the leveller? Oh, the referee has given it, penalty it is. An opportunity to level matters. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Gozens and running it back. Quick kick awarded then by the referee. Brozovic. Skriniar. Barella. Chalhanolu. Well, nearly saving the cross 
bar with that powerful effort. Olivier Giroud. He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Dumfries. And given away by Milan. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And there we have it. The first half comes to an... the second half Inter hold the advantage but it's a long way from being done and dusted Giroud is on creativity and it's played into the center oh he needs to clear it here and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end lost the possession as you can see but when they have had it they've looked so dangerous particularly when they press high up the field win the ball back in those areas and then counter attack quickly and into the last 30 minutes now you'll take this on well the keeper kept it out for the minimum of fuss but it wasn't a great effort to run at them Rafael Leao Diaz nicely timed tackle Lukaku and Inter doing well to win the ball back well doesn't have to do it on his own well a poor effort from a difficult angle Stuart well he took the wrong decision there he surely had to cut that back so making the substitution now there's a slide draw pass and saved by the keeper Brahim oh good vision a mischievous effort and excellent goalkeeping well it is good goalkeeping but the finish wasn't really good enough was it and he's got the beating of his opponent to the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Benacer. 
continues his run. He delivered into the box. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Rafael Leao. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He read it well, but still work to do. Milan have lost the ball. Well, visionary passing. What a powerful effort, but just wide. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Not be sure it didn't get past him. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. things up here and the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like and there's the referee's result these two sides so back in business here the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more Diaz. The ball with Martinez. Hendrik Mikitarian. Well, far from the ideal pass. Diaz. Zero. And you've got to say. Not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. Diaz. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And still danger here. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Giroud. Body in the way. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. It hasn't come to very much. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Could be a chance to break here. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Half time in extra time. And... and so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. The timing was perfect. Ball one. Italian. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Defenders need to cover. Well, it petered out. forward as the minutes stick away even Steven Chananolu well, this could be productive but stack defending when it mattered Martinez
And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Offside the decision. It always had the potential. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And that was an exquisitely taken penalty. He scored in the bottom corner. And he steps up to take his penalty. Clinical as always in front of goal. And he scores. Can he convert? And that, alas, went horribly wrong. Job done from the spot. Can he keep his cool? And he's beaten the keeper. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Almost intolerable pressure. Oh, he saved it. It's all over now. Well, that's a decent save, isn't it? He read the penalty and then was good enough to keep it out. What a finish to this match.